what's good welcome back to the channel guys today's video we got six triples in legends league up at the 5800 trophy range to show you with this two times overgrowth root rider valkyrie smash attack that is just absolutely insane if you guys have not tried this attack yet you should we are on a huge war win streak in zika down and also like 13 perfect wars in a row it is just absolutely insane and allowing us to get triples after triples. Let's get right into the action. So real quick, we went plus 299 today. We are probably going to get uh, hit for a perfect day on defense, which is a little unfortunate. Got to go minus 320. So we're not going to move up at all, but we were able to pick up uh, six triples, obviously, and two very high percentage two stars that probably could have been triples if I just changed a couple things here and there. So let's get right into the attacks. All right, on this first base, we have a box style base with a centralized town hall compartment. We're gonna start over here at uh, four o'clock with the Barbarian King and a couple Valkyries. We're gonna get that Siege Barracks going down at six o'clock and a couple Valkyries as well and just get a nice tight funnel and get these troops pushing right through the middle. You're gonna see I got that first overgrowth coming down to stop that Eagle Artillery and then we're gonna have that also stop the Monolith as well. We're gonna use, I actually used my Warden ability a little early on this one just because I saw my troops splitting and I wanted to get the maximum value with that healing tome. So don't be afraid to use it early it's still gonna be okay you're obviously going to get a lot of healing value with the healing tome um and that's the one thing that's the most necessary so as we push through we're going to use these rage spells to obviously make this army get through these defenses a lot quicker super minions are going to come up and help take out that town hall um and then they're going to fly through the poison of uh <laughs> the poison of death and go away so that's going to be unfortunate but still have the rc ability just pop the queen ability to get through that multi archer tower and we have a plenty of root riders left as well so once this wizard tower goes down i'm gonna get down here with the rc uh, still have the spirit fox alive which is awesome and we just pretty much got to get through the monolith at this point and we got plenty of tanks to do that still got the king alive too so we're gonna pop that rc ability with the haste vial get through these defenses and finish off the triple this one was a good triple so that four root riders alive which this army just it that that's just the army that where it happens you know using the healing tome is huge and obviously the overgrowth trapping down these defenses for that long period of time at what's 56 seconds total uh, this allows your troops to live longer all right, on this second triple, we have this box style base. You can see already, I mean, look, we're we're at a 135 triple. Um, this is just absolutely, like this attack just goes through these box bases like they're not even there. Um, I know I've said that in previous videos, but this attack is insane. I did change a couple, uh, I changed for a couple days to use for diff some different attacks, but I definitely wanted to use this one to finish out the season and see how high we could push up. Um, I just need to find a better base for defense, obviously. So um, I did freeze down the monolith because I wanted to try to save my king, obviously, through ability. And I wanted to get him into the healing tome so we gain back some health and hopefully the king can live longer through the end of the attack. Going to see that overgrowth come down on one portion of the base with that rage spell tower. Um, that's very important. When you see these rage spell towers, try to get one of them trapped underneath your overgrowth. Wasn't as concerned with the Eagle Artillery on this one just because it was in the middle of the base um, and not on the opposite side of the base. You're gonna see that other Rage Spell Tower come down and I'm gonna use this Overgrowth over here on the other two Ricochet Cannons and the only two Ricochet Cannons and then the two Wizard Towers because I wanted all of my troops that were right here to take out that compartment. That way we didn't have to worry about it. This is gonna be one where we're gonna sit here um, bust out a chair and relax for a second while these defenses are still trapped and then we're going to destroy the rest of this base still got the queen ability um and plenty of valkyries going around you see about seven of them still and once you got seven or eight valkyries um they're gonna pretty much one shot almost any building it's it's just crazy how quickly they get destroyed all right on this third triple we are showing we have this centralized town hall base with 
um it's kind of not really a ring style more of a box style and i've been seeing this one a lot posted on youtube you know this is the new anti-spam base well you could still triple this base with this attack like i said this attack i would say could triple about 95 percent of bases it's all about just the user and if you're placing these spells in the right area and getting the right value with your overgrowth obviously i saw some great value down here two single target infernos the spell towers were down there builder huts and the eagle artillery so that's where i chose to use that overgrowth and that's going to allow me to obviously funnel my troops as well and push through this top part of the base super minions are going to take out that barbarian king and the rest of my troops are going to push through this area had that second overgrowth come down and i had a lot of root riders separate um from the main pack but that's gonna be okay still got the queen and the rc ability still got a free spell as well that i believe we're gonna try to save as long as we can i do have two ricochet cannons to get through but i did not want to start my attack on the ricochet cannons um I never really have great luck when I do that. If I start my attack on the ricochet cannons, I take a lot of damage early, especially if you have to get through ice golems. If you gotta get through ice golems and your army is trapped under ice golems in front of ricochet cannons, you're gonna take a lot of damage and you're gonna lose a lot of root riders. And the moment you lose root riders early in this attack, you're not gonna be successful. So that is the main reason why I do not uh, attack into a double ricochet cannon compartment obviously you've seen me overgrowth ricochet cannons to save them for the end and then also attack complete opposite side like i did on this one because i just don't see the point in attacking into uh, a double ricochet cannon compartment like i said and because majority of players in legends league are using ice golems so if you're 24 se i think it's eight seconds per ice golem 24 seconds you're frozen down with your main army that's a lot of ricochet cannon damage and then obviously you're probably going to be forced to use your ward ability too early and then that's going to uh, hurt you as you push through the town hall and it's just going to go bad and you're not going to get a triple all right on this next attack uh we have this uh double invisibility spell tower base ring style base um, this is another one that's kind of like the anti-spam base. Um, we have kind of figured that if you have spell or free spells and you use them correctly, this base can be tripled uh, fairly easy. I wouldn't say easy, but it could definitely be tripled. Um, a lot could go wrong here because it's still a ring style base. Um, and I chose to use my overgrowth in a different spot this time. You can see I used the overgrowth right here and that's because i want my army to push up in the middle of the base and i knew where this tesla farm was so knowing where the tesla farm is i obviously helped me a little bit just because i saw this base on uh youtube already and we're gonna be able to push up through this middle part of the base still have not even used my warden ability you're gonna see that first freeze come down on the invisibility spell tower but now the other side has already been used so i don't get hit by the double invisibility spell tower ward ability i actually use there and then we're able to attack defenses while the invisibility spell tower is active which helps us because our troops don't run away you know if your troops target something different while something's invisible because it happens during the overgrowth too um your troops are going to continue to walk away they're not going to just change the target just because something is now visible or something is now untrapped so you got to keep that in mind you know i you saw me use that first freeze over here on the right because my troops were coming from the left that first invisibility spell tower went off then our troops went to the right attacked destroyed the invisibility spell tower and then by the time that happened everything else was un was visible again that way we could attack it and then we were able to take down the town hall without really having to worry about it and look how many root riders we still have alive we have all four heroes and root oh grand ward just went down but we have plenty of root riders alive still had the king and the queen ability when we finished off this triple all right on this fifth triple you're going to see another ring style base this one is a double poison spell tower though and we got the ricochet cannon compartments down at the bottom and the eagle artillery down at the bottom i definitely saw some value combining like the eagle artillery and a ricochet cannon and the overgrowth and that's why we chose to attack up top and we have the single target inferno up here as well so we're going to use that barbarian king with some supporting troops on the top side and the siege barracks on the left side get that quick 
funnel going and then get these troops going right down the middle see that first overgrowth come down we're going to trap down that poison spell tower trap down the ricochet cannon and the eagle artillery and i went ahead and froze down the single art the single target inferno because i did not want to lose my king through his ability obviously king walk on the outside gonna use that phoenix to pick up some more value out there and that's gonna be okay and the super minions are gonna come through now destroying these defenses on the outside of the base pick up some great value right away destroying the multi-target our multi-archer tower that poison spell tower is gonna go off as well as we push through this back side of the base with that last rage spell get these troops out of the poison as fast as possible queen is by herself up top which is okay uh, i'm gonna destroy these defenses and obviously we still got the queen and the rc ability rc is still very very healthy that's one reason why i'm also excited for the rocket uh spear when it does come out because a lot of the times i attack on this with this attack especially with the spirit fox the rc is very healthy uh through most of the attack and that is like phenomenal obviously but i don't feel like we need the royal gym um that's one of the reasons why i want to max out the hog puppet i just haven't been able to max it out yet i uh, still trying to max out the very main equipment that i use in this like the healing tome i believe we have maxed out now yeah we have the maxed out healing tome now um and i believe i maxed out the rage vial and obviously the royal gym and haste vial are maxed out too so um maxing out a lot of the equipment that we obviously need uh the eternal tomes maxed out too but we're not quite there yet obviously we still got us we had to start late to town hall 16 so a little behind on the equipment where we should be uh, but we're catching up very fast all right on this six and final triple up in the 5800 trophy range we have another ring style centralized town hall base with a double invisibility spell tower um, these are ones that can definitely be challenging but they are you are able to hit the three star obviously and you can see we're going to do this one very quickly as well at 140 which is going to be phenomenal um i think if i kept some of my valkyries and did a little bit better cleanup around the base obviously i could hit faster triples i don't need to hit faster triples in legends league but obviously if i was in like a competitive war um like the world's qualifiers or something and we had to hit faster triples we would you're gonna see that first overgrowth come down on the barbarian king side we're gonna trap down a ricochet cannon and the eagle artillery and a couple other defenses as well and then obviously we're gonna have to deal with this double invisibility spell tower first one's gonna go off and we're gonna get close to that second one i end up uh trapping it with or stunning it with diggy and then after the stun was done uh that invisibility spell tower ended up going off as soon as i used my free spell which was a little obnoxious but it is what it is so got that second overgrowth coming down and the ward ability coming through as we push through that town hall with the poison and the explosion and then we still have some very healthy troops here in the middle got these super minions working on the outside and this is the uh, this is one of the main reasons why i love the super minions just keep an eye on them for a second they're gonna push up and take some big damage out on these ricochet cannon and everything else over here and allow the queen to stay healthy queen's gonna push back to the other ricochet cannon with her frozen arrow which is gonna allow the rc to use her ability fine not have to worry about the spear fox taking some crazy damage and then we're gonna finish off the triple i love the super minions in this attack um they walk the they walk they walk they fly the outside of the base obviously so they're not gonna get hit by a ton of seeking air mines and air bombs but i've we pick up so much value you saw us take out a barbarian king we take out multi archer towers ricochet cannons and it cannot be attacked by ground troop ground defenses obviously so having just valkyries in the cc is not nearly as strong in my opinion because if it comes down to the very end and you need an air troop to finish it off for you like taking out a ricochet cannon or something like that the super minion is going to get it done for you and pick up that triple all right guys that's gonna do it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed the content as always i appreciate you guys stopping in on an everyday basis and supporting the channel this attack is absolutely insane still and i really don't think the new defensive levels are going to change anything this attack is just so strong and you you could attack any version of any base like i said and a lot of it is just overgrowth placement and spell placement and as long as you could hit that on that uh, hit that perfect you're going to be able to get three stars with this attack 
the army link will be in the description below if you guys have not tried it yet um we'll catch you next time